all this is artifacts of Mars. And Glenn Beck has unmitigated gall. Well, keep in mind that I'm basically an agnostic. Like Glenn Beck has unmitigated gall to sit there and pronounce that any, no real Christian would ever, should ever support Donald Trump. <laughs> now that's very interesting. Uh, Mr. Beck, sir. Mr. Beck, you liberal piece of liberalism. How do you define a real Christian? I mean, every church I've gone to said, uh, we're the real Christians, everybody else is going to hell. In fact, there was only one time I didn't see that. I went to some service in a local Catholic church, and it was an interfaith service, and everybody was getting along just fine. And nobody was pointing any fingers saying, you're going to hell because you're not from my faith. I have a few things to say about hell. Uh, actually, the Bible talks about Satan living inside the earth, which is very curious. I don't want to go there. There's certain... Uh, anyway... Uh, Beck says, No Christian, no real Christian. I don't mean a judgmental Christian. I mean someone who's living their faith. No... No real Christian says, I want that guy, that guy is for me, he said during the broadcast of his radio show. Nobody, nobody. That is bullshit. Beck also argued that Christi America is moving away from its Christian underpinnings, causing myriad moral and social problems nationwide. Well, yeah, I have to agree with him there. I actually don't know what else to do, he said. We have... Be a people principles, we are a Christian nation. Are we really, Beck asked? Then why are we in so much trouble? Why do we have the same kind of problems that non Christian nations do with pornography and drugs and everything else? We should be setting an example if we are actually living our Christian faith. Problem is that we all say we're living a Christian faith, we're not living our Christian faith. Mac additionally vowed he would challenge any religion or denomination he believes is ignoring its own guiding principles. I'll take on Jews, I'll take on the Lutherans, I'll take on the Catholics, and I'll take on the Mormons. He said, I'll take them all on. You're damn right. Where are you? You're not living your principles. He's been ruthlessly attacking Trump. Beck has. We got to show these things up and headed back to back Ted Cruz from Texas for GOP nomination. Somehow or the other, one, our side doesn't, didn't catch the memo. Beck has emerged as a vocal critic of Trump, arguing that GOP frontrunner does not represent conservative values. Yeah, so you come up with somebody who actually does. I've heard some things about Cruz. I will vote for Cruz. But I've heard some things like uh, his allegiance to that wacko cult with Dominionists. Cruz, meanwhile, has repeatedly asserted he is the only public Republican contender who can keep Trump from securing their party's presidential nomination. Oh, well, I wouldn't say he's the only one because they're... Uh, Wacko rhinos. The, ri the rhinos want a, uh, from what I'm understanding, they want a Paul Ryan and uh, John Kasich ticket from what I'm hearing. In other words, they're going to say, hey, screw you voters. <laughs> we'll do what we want. You ever wonder why I don't belong to the political party? I don't belong to a church. <laughs> well, here you go. 
I'm so disgusted with it. I forge my own path. I uh, have my own beliefs. And that's the way it is. Oh well. Bex entitled to his opinion. This is in the realm of free speech, so what can you say? I can. <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't go disagree with him. I most certainly do, but. In the realm of free speech, so. Do it to it, Glenn. This is Artifacts of Mars. <laughs>